Hi, I'm Krista Hermato from Hobo, Pennsylvania, and I went to Penn State for four years, uh, where I had a wonderful uh, volleyball experience and uh, just overall community of Penn State. And I now train with the national team in Southern California. And uh, ever since uh, moving out here, um, my walk with Christ uh, began. Let's see, my first year was uh, summer of 2009, uh, right after graduation, uh, where I just kind of felt like my life was starting to change. Um, you know, growing up in Western Pennsylvania and then going to um, Penn State, which was probably about a two and a half hour drive, I definitely, um, I think, took for granted how close I was uh, to my family and to all of the things that I knew. And then, you know, picking up and, and moving to California uh, so quickly and so far away from home uh, was kind of a shock for me at first. Um, I had amazing opportunity to compete and, um, and train with the national team out here. Uh, but, you know, I didn't quite begin to find myself or uh, take the steps uh, in, in my Christian faith um, until... June of 2010. So uh, my first year, I remember just being involved um, every so once in a while uh, with uh, a Bible study that our men's and women's national team uh, put together. And uh, I actually, that's the first time I met Daniel. Uh, and he, uh, I consider him and um, two other people who I'll mention, uh, you know, as my quote unquote glowing friends because they kind of steered me whether it was their stories or certain things that they invited me to or um, you know or just watched throughout um, the past year or so that has just just allowed me to grow in my faith. Um, I had returned from my professional season in China. We had started um, a strong unit with um, uh, our Bible study with the national team, which is called Eagles, is the name of it. So we started uh, forming this group, um, this Bible study, with just the women's team. So uh, the men weren't included in this. Uh, there were probably about six of us. Uh, it was great because there was um, a huge group of us training at the time uh, during these spring months. Um, so like I said, Tracy was the head, and um, she's a huge part. Uh, in in my my walk with Christ, I think just the combination of um, you know Daniel inviting me and getting me involved with FCA, Tracy just you know her inspiration, just watching her and Genesis, um, you know just her her love and uh, and her passion for for Christ were all sort of forming, I guess my so-called vision of what it would look like um, to, to follow Christ. I had gone to an FCA event, uh, I believe it was Memorial Day weekend, um, it was a night of champions, and uh, I remember the pastor standing up and uh, myself and one of my teammates, uh, Tama, were both, we were sitting next to each other and I was, Daniel was next to me too, and uh, you know, he just said, when you're ready, to give your life to Christ, would you stand up? And I, I remember like feeling like somebody was just like, like pulling me like up off the chair. But I don't know. For me, like I was a volunteer, and I was like, no, 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 this isn't my place. Like you know, but like total like just Holy Spirit trying to like lift me up off the chair. I had gone to dinner with Tracy on Tuesday, and it was it was the first time that I had shared. Um, with her, uh, you know, this vision. I had told her about, you know, the just sort of the, the movement that I felt during that FCA Night of Champions um, and just the energy or whatever. And uh, so, like I said, God gave me this vision. It was in front of a campfire with Daniel, Tracy, and Genesis. And, you know, that was, that was the day. Life isn't about, you know, the success on the court or Six pe like I always use the word like six people in a ball. Like honestly, there's there's so much more to that, and there's so much more within the the game and the and 
It's just like Christ, like loving you no matter what. Um, well, I had, I had just um, went through a really rough time uh, with anxiety, with, um, with just, you know, just not, not putting my full, full trust in the Lord. Um, just being just super anxious about everything, life, volleyball, just not, not happy at all. And, um, you know, I remember hitting a breaking point, um, actually just probably a month ago. Uh, we were in Juarez, Mexico. Uh, I had broken up with a boyfriend for seven months, first real relationship. Um, and I was just sort of, I guess, searching for uh, God to almost just, I just wanted to like sit back and wait, wait till he did something. And I guess what I learned was um, just through that, it is is that it was that it was me that needed to to take a step in in my faith and it's it's trusting him with with everything it's it's waking up in the morning it's it's that attitude with gratitude I mean it's incredible I mean I'm a completely different person and I mean honestly yeah it's been awesome I've been you know kicking butt on the court but it's just that's God right there you know and to be able to give that to him and not and not look at it in a different way or a different life and just Totally having a peace that I've absolutely never had before is unbelievable. And that's straight up attitude of gratitude. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs>